I felt like you do a lot of research that goes beyond the typical um, information that you might get from a doctor's office. I feel like you're really, really, really up with the most modern information. And I thought that you took me seriously about like, um, my intention was to try to lower my blood sugar. And I feel like a lot of people, because I'm young and healthy, I feel like most people would think that um, I don't really need help, but I felt like you really took me seriously. I was trying to prevent anything long-term diseases and things like that and anything else that goes along with it, the cardiovascular disease and things like that. The biggest frustration was by far the guidelines from the American Diabetes Association, I think I would say, with the quantity of carbs that was recommended through the generic sources that we're normally um, exposed to. And I was just like, if I ate that many carbs, I would definitely be a diabetic. Like that is an insane amount of carbs that they recommend to eat a day. And I just didn't think that that was um, healthy for my personal body. I know everyone's body is different. And I know some people do so much better with different kind of macro levels. And I just didn't think that was a good idea for my body. You took me seriously. And you didn't try to say like, oh, well, maybe your blood sugar meter is not reading right. Or maybe you need a, I don't know, you didn't have like all this stuff. You're like, oh, I do see an issue and we are going to solve this. Opposed to just saying like, oh, no, you have a good BMI and you, you eat right for a regular American. Like you took me seriously as an individual. I definitely wanted to sit down and talk to you about your point of view. So skeptical about like your health philosophies and your nutritional philosophies, yes, because I know you're a registered dietitian who went the traditional route of becoming an RD. So from that perspective, I was a little bit um, like, is she going to have all the data that I think is necessary for my body? I would tell someone else that they, that you take them seriously as an individual and you don't use any generic type of uh, information to help one individual person. You take each person based on who they are. You even looked at like my blood tests and you looked at um, different hormone tests that I had and you took that into consideration too. So the number one thing is like you take everybody as an individual opposed to any sort of cookie cutter thing that like, oh, well, this textbook says this. Like you don't treat someone like a textbook. You look at all the different components that create um, that person's biology and biochemistry and all that experience working with you was, I would say meticulous because you had me um, track all my food, but I thought it was necessary. I felt like you took the time to look into different aspects of my lifestyle and just kind of um, be conscious of like how other things might be affecting my blood sugar, which was my main goal. Um, first breakthrough, I think um, in general, the biggest thing was the amount of carbs that you had me eat and I, do, which was really low, but very necessary. And I don't think most dietitians would take that approach. And then you took the approach of like, how is your stress affecting your blood sugar? How's your lifestyle? And what can we do? I have a lot more energy. I feel just in general, a lot better. And I am actually now incorporating like a little bit more carbs and I'm not seeing my blood sugar any higher. So I'm super, super, super happy about that. So I would just say overall, it's improved my health, but I'm also very conscious of what I'm putting in my body, which I think is just super important if you're have any sort, if you have any sort of interest in, um, you know, taking control of your health and being proactive opposed to reactive. But of course, recommend that they do. I think that um, beyond like feeling like you took me seriously about what I came to you with, you really took the time to be a person back to me. Like you weren't like, I am this dietitian who knows every single thing. Like I felt like you kind of leveled with me or like, oh, well, when I dealt with what you're dealing with, I went through this. And I felt like that connection was really positive in helping me create my lifestyle changes. So what I'm saying is that I'm not, you're not working with like a robotic person who hasn't like experienced things and hasn't had to deal with different kinds of health or whatever kinds of challenges. So I would definitely say do it. You're going to make the change. If you follow your advice, 
Um, if that person follows your advice, they'll see the changes that they're looking for. And then you'll always like change things where you need to, to help them with their goals. I think you just do a really great job of taking people's goals seriously, even if it's not like, um, even if it's not something that has full blown turned into a disease, but you know that you're trending in the wrong direction and you want to reverse that. Like, I like that you still take those people seriously. Whereas I feel like in some of my experiences in the past, because it hasn't been like a full blown huge problem and I'm young and I'm thin and I'm fit, people didn't take me seriously, but that doesn't mean that I want to have an issue later on just because it's not a big issue right now. Mm -hmm.